right, let's clear this one last time. The Great Lakes State is Michigan, or Michigan is the Great Lakes State. Is that right? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, my next guest tonight is one of the great pitchers in baseball uh, history. He's having a wonderful year at age 45. He has a 10-3 and three record, which we know now is one of the best winning records in baseball. <laughs> Uh, he needs only seven more strikeouts to reach the career total of 3,000, and he has done all of this with the most peculiar pitch in baseball, the knuckleball. Please welcome, from the New York Yankees, Phil Necro. Hi, Phil. Good to see you. Come on over here, Phil. Come right over there. The folks love you. The folks love you. Well, it's working out very well so far, yeah. David. Did you bring this for me? Yeah, I heard that. I think I've got the right size. If uh, seven and three eighths. All right. Well, that's, that's close enough. Let me... I don't know if you're a Met fan or a Yankee fan. Well, you know I'm a Yankee fan, Phil. Are <laughs> oh, you? Yeah. Tonight, huh? No, that's that's fine. You know, I have a hat for you, by the way. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think that'll be your size. Try that on, Phil. We we got that earlier when we heard you were going to be on the show. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. How's that? That's good. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you about, uh, uh, now the Yankees are playing Detroit tonight out at the stadium, right? We're playing tonight, uh, tonight, tomorrow night, and Wednesday night. Now, uh, are you supposed to be at the ballpark even though you're not pitching? Yeah, well, I'll leave after the show here and go back. Their uh -huh. game starts at 8 o'clock, so I'll have enough time to get back here and do whatever I want to do. Now, now what does a starting pitcher do who, on, on a night yeah. he's not starting? When you go out there, what do you do? Not much of a whole lot, really. Yeah. Uh, I got to do a little running, a little throwing, uh, sit in the whirlpool, try and get the arm ready for mm -hmm. Friday night when I'll pitch in Kansas City. But basically, when you pitch, uh, I pitch every five days, and it takes me two or three days to get this thing back in work in the way. Yeah, again. yeah. So you go out there, and uh, how much running will you do tonight? I don't like to run. I don't do a whole lot of running, David. Well, take the night off. What the heck? You get some records here. Most wild pitches in a lifetime, 200. Yeah. Um... <laughs> You got them all there, don't you? Tied the major league record for most strikeouts in uh, an inning, four, July 4th, 1977. You have established National League records for most putouts by a pitcher and uh, led the National League in hit batsmen with 11 in 1979. <laughs> I've done it all. But that's, that's the kind of pitch we have here. You're, you're either right on the money or you're in no man's land with it, huh? Well, especially with the knuckleball being that... Uh, that the pitch is going to go so many different ways, yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of tough to control sometimes. And uh, I throw it for the plate and hope it's going to go either on the outside corner, the inside corner, and sometimes it goes the opposite way and gets yeah. the batter. Why don't you try now to explain it, the pitch, and how it's thrown on a real basic level. I have no idea how it works. I have no idea how you throw it, but uh, it's obviously very successful for you. Show us well, what I'm, you do with uh, it. Basically, David, with a, uh, uh, if you pick up football, basketball, baseball, no matter what you got, when you throw it, the ball is going to rotate. Mm -hmm. The ball is going to rotate some way. Uh, a curve ball is basically thrown with the wrist, the curve ball, a slider, show, show everything is basically. Well, I don't throw a curve ball, but everything you throw is basically with your wrist. Uh -huh. Every kind of a pitch, except the knuckleball. Okay. Uh, a knuckleball is a pitch that when it leaves my hand, it comes into the batter with no rotation on it. None whatsoever? The ball whatsoever? is not spinning. The good knuckleball, there's sometimes it'll rotate a little bit. Uh -huh but the good knuckleball comes in with no rotation. And I do that by uh, uh, laying the ball back in here. I'll, I'll put these two fingers around the ball there, hold them very tight. Uh, that's a feel-good finger. Wherever it feels good, I mm -hmm. kind of lay it. I'll take these two fingers. <laughs> the fingernails... <laughs> uh, the fingernails uh, of these two fingers, I'll bring them back into the ball and, and dig the fingernails into the ball very mm -hmm. tightly. And when I throw it, I basically lock my arm, my, uh, my uh, elbow, and my wrist, and I throw it, and I don't do any of that stuff. It's basically a stiff wrist yeah. pitch. It comes out, and it kind of has a tendency to does, you know, do a little few things by the time it gets to the batter. So it's, uh, now what, with wind blowing out, is that an advantage to you, or no wind, is that an advantage Wind to blowing you? into my face is the best, uh -huh. but that makes the ball do a lot more, and the ball is a little bit harder to control. Yeah. Uh, the wind behind me just kind of pushes the ball. I like a little wind coming sort of from third base to first base. It kind yeah. of takes a ball. I do, too. Out. I like a little wind coming that way. Uh, we're, you're going to throw me a couple. Now, now don't, now, don't hurt me with this thing. Come on over here, Phil. Why don't you take off that hat? <laughs> now, uh, do I'm so you... used to having a hat on. I'll just go ahead and play with <laughs> you, this. You brought in a big catcher's mitt, right? This is... Well, I brought... Uh, basically, I brought, I brought two catchers. This is, uh, uh, this is the, the uh, catcher's mitt that most catchers catch with. 
This is the regulation size. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the catcher's mitt that is used for the knuckleball. So, so you a little bit able, bigger. Yeah. You may be able to tell the difference. I better. I guess I'm better off with this one. Well, take, you got insurance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phil, just now lob a couple so I understand what we're doing. Don't, don't start with anything hot here. Okay, when you throw a ball, when I throw it, the ball is going to spin. The ball is going to rotate. Right, right? okay. What happens. No matter how many times you throw that ball, the ball is going to rotate. Okay. Now, how, how far are we? Is this, uh, oh, my God. Is this 60, uh, 60 feet, 6 inches? Is that no, I'd say that's about uh, maybe 45, 50. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now give me just one more. Bounce one in front of the plate. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, all right, now let's try it. Okay, now when I throw a knuckleball, it won't do a lot because I won't throw it very hard, but you, you may uh, see the difference in the spin of that ball and the spin of this ball. Okay, now this is the, this yeah. is the knuckler. Oh yeah, it's not moving at all. That's see, amazing. The ball doesn't rotate. <laughs> That's not, there's nothing on that thing. That's unbelievable. The thing is not rotating in any... Is, is there anybody who hits this pitch per, uh, pretty well? Uh, some of them do and some of them don't. Yeah? It depends. Uh, the harder I'll throw it, the more the ball is going to move around. All right, we'll put a little something on one here. <laughs> well, it may not do a whole lot. That's unbelievable. That thing is... Okay, heat one up here, Phil. Really heat one up here. Well, Come on. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Wait a minute. Maybe I should get my cup first. <laughs> Let me have one, Phil. It may or may not. Oh! <laughs> we got to uh, go away for a commercial. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here's tonight's top ten list. Let's go. The category tonight, top ten perks of being a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Top ten perks of being a member of baseball's Hall of Fame. Uh -huh. The highest honor that can be accorded to a baseball player. That's right. Top ten perks now of being in the Hall of Fame. And here, uh, presenting tonight's top ten list, ten members of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Yes, sir. How you doing? Nice to see you again. There we go. Top ten perks of being a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Number ten, he's a member of baseball's elite 3,000 hit club, Lou Brock, everybody. I get a ballpark frank for a reduced price of only $20. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number nine, he hit 573 home runs in 22 seasons, Harmon Killebrew. If I don't have the money for the domino kid, I just uh, hand him any old bat and say, I use this one for my 500th home run. <laughs> Number eight, he was named 18 consecutive All-Star teams, Brooks Robinson. I once saw Earl Weaver naked. Yeah. <laughs> Top ten perks of being a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Number seven, the only man to lead his league in home runs seven years in a row, Ralph Kiner. All the rosin you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> the 
not a bad deal. Number six, he won the MVP in Cy Young Awards in 1981, Raleigh Fingers. I'm not just a guy with a crazy mustache. I'm a Hall of Famer with a crazy mustache. That's right. <laughs> Number five. He won 20 games five times and the Cy Young Award twice. Bob Gibson. I got to do Hall of Fame stuff. Perfect excuse to get out of the plans the wife made. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. Sure. Number four, 300 game winning knuckleballer Phil Necro. I can ride out on the field shirtless, and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. <laughs> Number three, he pitched three no hitters and led the league in wins six times, Bob Feller. get you a pair on a lame late night talk show. <laughs> you can't beat that. Number two, 13-time gold glove winner at shortstop, Ozzy Smith. We're the only ones who can rebroadcast or retransmit an account of a game without the express written consent of Major League Baseball. And the number one perk of being a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame this weekend, he'll be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame All-Star catcher Gary Carter. One free swing at a costume mascot of my choice. <laughs>